Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over the best practices for uploading your Doodly videos to YouTube. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. The first step, of course, is to prepare your video for YouTube. Ideally, your Doodly video should be in the traditional 16 by 9 horizontal format such as Doodly's 1080p or 720p export. If you upload a vertical or unusually sized video, for example, YouTube will add blank spaces to it so that the entire 16 by 9 playing area is filled. So let's go ahead and upload a video. Click the Create button, Upload Video. Now, of course, we're going to select our file and I have one, the 1080p example, and I'm going to choose that for upload. So let's give your video a descriptive title, making sure to include your most important keywords. So let's just say my most important keywords are doodly examples. I'm going to keep the 1080 there just for my own purposes. And of course, a description. Again, you want to make sure to include some keywords in it. This is really helpful for search engine optimization. Next, we have the video thumbnail. So choose a great thumbnail for your video. This is the still image that people will see before your video even begins playing. You can either upload your own thumbnail, which is what we do here at Doodly Official, or you can choose one from the video. In this case, I'm going to choose one from the video, and I like this one because it's quite descriptive and it shows the hand drawing. Next, you can consider making a playlist. For example, we have a few different playlists where we add all of our tutorial videos, our update videos, and example videos. As our channel grows, we'll likely add more playlists to keep the content neatly organized for our viewers. Continue filling out the form based on the specifics of your video. Now here, you'll have the option to add a caption file. Captions help deaf users enjoy your content, as well as viewers who may not want to listen to the audio. Maybe they're on the subway and don't want to disturb others. Doodly has a subtitle function that you can use instead. So if you use Doodly subtitles, you can skip this. If not, you'll need to create and upload a caption file, or you can skip this altogether. We have a few other considerations to point out. Do you want other people to be able to embed your video into their websites? This may or may not be desirable. For example, if your video is not well branded and your competitor embeds it on their website, you just did them a huge favor. They'll look good and enjoy all of the benefits of your video without the work. On the other hand, if you want your video widely shared, for example, if it's a public service announcement, then you do want to allow embedding. And then down here, you want to decide how you want to handle comments. Do you want to allow all comments? Hold potentially inappropriate comments for review? I imagine YouTube probably uses an AI to filter out comments that might be inappropriate. Hold all comments for manual review or disable comments completely. You can remove this text box if you don't want to show all of the likes and dislikes of your video, or you can leave it. So let's click Next and go on to Video Elements. Here under Video Elements, you'll have the opportunity to control what users see at the end of the video, as well as suggest different content throughout your video. For example, at the end of our tutorials, you'll see an end screen prompting you to click subscribe and hey, don't forget to watch these other videos. So adding an end screen is where you specify which videos will be promoted at the end. Note that we made a custom outro for our tutorial videos with arrows strategically placed based on where YouTube will place the interactive elements, such as the subscribe link and two promoted videos. We'll go over creating outros in a future tutorial. Note also that your video needs to be of a certain length in order to qualify to add an end screen. I believe my example here is too short for it. Now adding cards, this is where you can suggest content throughout your video. So let's say at you know 15 seconds into my video, I wanna say, hey, 
check out this other video. So what you would do is click add, choose a video. I'll choose one of these vertical ones because I wanted to show you how they look. So notice how my video is vertical here and then YouTube fills in the sides. So now you'll notice that it's suggesting here in the upper right, my resolution examples custom video. So now I can say, hey, let's, let's have him talk about it right here when he starts drawing this guy. So I've moved the little marker and if we hit play, when it hits that marker, this suggestion comes in. And then when the user clicks that button, it'll take them to that video. So let's go ahead and click save and next. On this screen, you'll see the result of YouTube's preliminary copyright check. Note that this isn't final and you may receive a copyright notice after the video is published. This sometimes happens with Doodly's royalty-free music, where someone, and it's almost always an automated bot, makes a claim saying the music is theirs. If you use Doodly stock music, you can respond to the notice letting YouTube know that you use Doodly's royalty-free music and that you have the rights to use it. That usually resolves the problem. Now, if you need further help, you can contact Doodly support and they'll be happy to assist you with that. Here at the visibility screen, you have a few choices. Private means only you and those that you specify can see the video. This is a good option for sharing family videos or videos intended for your classroom or workplace. With a private video, you must specifically invite individuals and those individuals must sign in using their own Google accounts. Unlisted is similar, but rather than inviting specific people, you send them a link. Now anyone with that link can view the videos. This is less secure than private because people can share the link with others. And public is just that. Everyone can watch your video. So if you post it publicly, it's out there for anyone to find. And you know, if it's search engine optimized, they can find it by entering your keywords. You can also schedule a date for publishing your video. For example, we usually upload several videos at once and then schedule them throughout the next couple of weeks. And that's the basics of uploading your videos to YouTube. Thanks for watching.